Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin and uh, yeah, some of the massive altcoin movements that are happening right now. Um, so it should be a fairly quick video, uh, there's not too much to cover from yesterday's. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's begin. Okay, so uh, firstly, okay, let's go off where we bounced last night, okay, ignoring this pattern a second, okay, so obviously came down last night, had another leg down, three monthly support, and found support in the end on the 618 FIB level, okay, and uh, yeah, a, a crucial support, and that's just obviously going from low to high of the anchor points there low to high seeing the uh you know the golden pocket is going to be support where you can also see that combined with horizontals and you also have some fib extensions so um overall nice confluence for that sort of bounce region okay and you were moving down on bullish divergences as well okay so each movement down was getting added bit, bit blum, added bullish divergences so you had a combining factors like, basically to form this upwards rise okay overnight and uh, yeah, this was one that I actually had mentioned. So I done a little video for champions really quickly and uh, mentioned that, uh, you know, this 618 gold, that golden pocket, watch out for it. So some people obviously there getting in. Um, yeah, on that 618 bounce. Obviously, I, I was actually asleep for it because yesterday I was trading for 36 hours straight. And I went to sleep when price was around here, just obviously below monthly support. And uh, yeah, obviously that's bear flag followed by bear flag followed by the downwards movement. And now brings us on to what we're looking at today okay so obviously this is another one that i highlighted this morning to everyone and this was before it sort of happened okay so i was imagining this was um 9 a.m and now we're at 6 p.m so um yeah quite a while ago now <laughs> i was imagining this head and shoulders or inverted head and shoulders play out okay but you have to remember it's not a long position until you break the neckline so that's really important to know it's not a long until you break the neckline Okay, but I had the idea that we would likely just range this sort of sideways movements today, okay, which in turn equals really good long opportunities on alts, okay, because alts uh, do not like Bitcoin moving down like this heavily, down like this heavily, they like Bitcoin to move sideways, and if this had played out like I imagined, like it actually has, Bitcoin would move sideways today, okay, and now coming back to what we're on now, okay, we obviously done played this pretty nicely really it went left shoulder you had the hand head and then today we have come down hit the bottom of the right shoulder and now on its way back up okay have to remember again it's not really a long until you break the neckline okay so just keep that in mind um short term we're still managed now to get back above monthly support which obviously is 7727 so you got that key support 7727 okay still key support Okay, then you're looking at the high of the move of today at the exact point right there is 7,900. So you're looking at 7,900 resistance, uh, which you could have like a safer, um, you know, well, not necessarily safer, but a, a different trade, uh, 7,900 breakout. Okay, then support of the day is obviously 7,500 and uh, to give you the right number, 7,583 and obviously your lows down here, I would be looking still at the golden pocket for your support. So you have this sort of like, intraday movements now going on with the possible obviously left head right shoulder sort of movement going on after a downtrend okay obviously you formed your bullish divergences as well on this downtrend so the you know the signs for the bounce even if it forms a bear flag because at this point you still could flag for another leg down so it's not out of the realms of possibilities okay we are still unable to take the high oops didn't try and click that obviously are still unable to take any highs at this point okay so we're still downtrending so it's important to just be aware, just be aware and like never, ever get locked into a bias, never get locked into a bias or a prediction. Just trade the chance as it coming. You know, this is a potential pattern to play out, but you do want to see that neckline slash 7,900 break. Um, and obviously, if it does play out and you can get your start to get your targets in here. OK, so you'd be really looking up for weekly resistance. I would anyway, nine, nine thousand two hundred, uh, eight thousand two hundred. Sorry, if that is to play out with volume. OK, a key factor for a head and shoulders, any head and shoulders is volume. So you need to see the increase in volume. OK, a break of neckline with no volume is, is not valid. OK, you need to have it's like a crucial element of a head and shoulders. You need to have the volume to co coincide with a break. OK. And now I will. Uh, now I've given you those details on Bitcoin. Obviously, I will just really quickly cover uh, the the big Binance coins. Okay, these like Binance IEOs, or however you even say it. Like those Binance coins, all have done amazing today. Obviously, you have one. Look at that. Obviously, hitting that and set four hundred psychological. This is actually one that I said like when it was hitting four hundred. I'm saying. You know, be careful. This is psychological resistance. Okay, you obviously have these psychological numbers, just as three hundred was. Okay, so just as 300 was, you then come up to 700 and uh, 400 psychological up. Now take profits, like take profits. This is a good take profit place, even if it did continue up, you know, 
uh, to, to, to a 161 extension, for example, you know, you can't go wrong with taking profits. As I've always said, nobody ever lost money taking profits. And obviously that's a quite a substantial drop okay, from that 400 high quite a substantial drop in terms of percentage you're looking at from the top right there down about 12 percent and you, you know that's uh, that's a heavy retracement and even if you sold there and you're still bullish overall well guess what you can add on retracements so um yeah all started all starting from that golden uh you know that 618 uh, retracement yeah literally from oops load that up properly where again you go from high to low coming into that golden pocket moving up again like really low 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 risk trade uh for 70 percent gains so far like that's just crazily easy um then you have obviously what else has been going on well it's the whole of the binance coin so you obviously have fet where is fet in here uh looking for fet Okay, there we go. Obviously, then that started pumping. Uh, then you obviously have Seller itself. That's another one. And there's one more. What am I missing? Uh, Matic, of course. Yeah, like Matic you obviously have in there as well. Whoever Matic has, which has not done so well today. But obviously, that has been, um, you know, forming this flag down, like giving good opportunities nevertheless. Uh, obviously, that was a big move yesterday, forming flag, you know, for, for that possible continuation. So that's looking nice. Like all of the Binance coins of those three, uh, four IC IEOs, just money makers literally just money makers and then you have binance coin itself uh like doing you know quite decent on the day as well to be honest so um yeah that you know th th that's what you just want to be aware of these binance coins they are fully pumpable fully fu fully pumpable and you know they're big movers so yeah and they obviously just helped by bitcoin moving sideways okay when you're in that sort of head and shoulders pattern eg sort of sideways on the day uh, very good for altcoins in general, but never get too greedy. Never get greedy. Take profits on the way up. You know, nobody ever lost money by taking profits. You know, if you make 5% in a day and it moves up 10% where and you take profits at 5% and do not kick yourself because you've made 5% or oh, that's how I view it anyway. But um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Really, really hope that you've enjoyed and found that helpful. Uh, obviously, yeah, the main one, if you're just looking at Bitcoin, you can, you know, keep your eye on this and never, whether you want to short the neckline <laughs> or whether you want to long the breakout, you know, that is a trade decision for you to make um so yeah hope that you have enjoyed this one um uh, please give me a like if you have enjoyed very very much appreciated obviously every single like helps me beneficially um and you know shows appreciation so please give me a like if you've enjoyed and uh yeah give me a comment uh to help with interactions of let's say what is your favorite altcoin that you are looking at right now i would say mine has to be like day trading one that has been number one <laughs> so for me one is number one for day trading uh, obviously zil was my other like decent play of the day where that was like a five percent from the 382 so zil was okay for me today uh but one yeah definitely number one <laughs> and then obviously fet breakout as well was nice but, but let's just say name your number one alt okay of the next week that you're looking at okay that will be very interesting to see the discussions there of everybody's favorite alt that they're watching okay so um yeah look forward to that and uh yeah hope you've enjoyed thank you everybody have a good day. Cheers.